Hi guys, so today I'm here with a really fun new baby name video for you. Today I'm going to be talking about place names, but not place names that we hear on a regular basis or that are in the top 100 like Brooklyn or London or um, Jordan. These are place names that aren't as common and some of these names I hadn't even heard myself until I started doing the research for this video. So hopefully these might give you some inspiration and I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. So for boys, the first name I have is Normandy. Normandy is a region in the north of France. I think this name is really cool because it has the name Norman in it. So if you were wanting to honor someone named Norman, you could use Normandy. I feel like Norman is one of those old man names that I don't know if it's ever going to make a comeback. But when you add that extra syllable and it becomes Normandy, it sounds like a completely new, really kind of modern sounding name. And I think it would make a really cool place name choice. The next name I have is Halifax. Halifax is the capital city of the province of Nova Scotia in Canada. I don't know how usable this name would be to Canadians like myself because obviously I hear about Halifax all the time. I grew up learning about it in geography. Um, but to Americans and to people who aren't Canadian, I think that this could make a really cool place name. Um, you can get the nickname Hal. It could be used to honor someone named Hal. And it just has such a cool sound to it, Halifax, um, especially with the X at the end. Um, my friend Rebecca, who also makes videos here uh, about baby names on YouTube, and she actually has a daily vlogging channel now. She lives in Halifax, and um, I'll put the links to her channels in the bottom bar below. But I think Halifax could make a really, really interesting boy's name. The next name I have is Rio. Rio de Janeiro is the second largest city in Brazil. I've always thought that Rio would make a really cool boy's name. I really love boy's names that end in O and of course Rio fits into this category. I just picture a really really cool guy with the name Rio. The next name I have is Everest. Everest is the name of Mount Everest in Nepal, which is of course the world's highest mountain. And I think that is something that would be very, very cool to be named after. Also, Everest fits in with a lot of um, names that are popular right now, like Everett and Emmett, as well as Everly and Evelyn. So it has a lot of uh, similar sounds with popular names right now, so I don't think it would be strange to name your child Everest. The next name was one that I had never heard of before I did the research for this video, and that is Conakry. Conakry is the capital city of Guinea in Africa, and Conakry has such a strong, interesting sound to it. Um, the con at the start fits in with names like Conrad and Connor, which are very handsome and also uh, gaining popularity right now. So I think Conakry could be a very interesting alternative to names like that. Then I have Cypress. I've always thought that Cypress would make such an awesome boy's name. Kind of sounds like Cyrus. Um, and it is an island country in the Mediterranean Sea. So that is really cool as well. The next name I have is Arlington. Arlington is the name of a number of different towns and cities in uh, Canada, South Africa, uh, the UK and the US. So it's not just one place. There are lots of different places named Arlington. Um, my friend Elena really loves this name and I think her love of it has kind of rubbed off on me. Um, Arlington is one of the Ington names. So there's Arlington, Remington, Bennington, there are so many. Um, and they're all place names, but I think they would make awesome baby names, all of them. The next name I have is Penzance. Penzance is a port city in Cornwall, England, and it's famous for the opera Pirates of Penzance. And there would have been pirates in Penzance because it was a port city. I just think the name Penzance is so cool, especially with the Z in it. It just has such a different sound. Um, 
it just doesn't really sound like any other name. And one interesting fact about this uh, city is that I actually have traced my family tree way back and I had some ancestors who lived in Penzance. The next name I have is Charleston and Charleston is the name of a number of cities as well. Um, one of the most famous ones is Charleston, West Virginia, which is the capital city of that state. I think if you're looking to honor someone named Charles, but you don't just want to use Charles, you want something a little bit more fun and maybe modern sounding, I think Charleston would be a great way to do that. So for girls, the first name I have is Odessa. Odessa has such a beautiful feminine sound to it. It is the third largest city in the Ukraine and I have a couple Ukrainian friends and when they get pregnant and have babies, I am definitely going to be suggesting the name Odessa to them. Odessa just has this princessy feel to it, kind of like Olivia, and there aren't too many O names out there, so I think this could be a great alternative to Olivia. The next name I have is Geneva. Geneva is the second largest city in Switzerland, and this again is just a gorgeous princessy name. I've actually known several girls named Geneva, and I always thought that they had such gorgeous names. The next name I have is Florence and I feel like a lot of people think of Florence as an old lady name or a granny name still but when you think of Florence as this gorgeous historical Italian city it kind of takes on a whole other image and so that's why I wanted to put it on this list because I think that Florence definitely deserves a comeback and it definitely deserves to shake off that dusty old image and have the image of being this gorgeous city rather than being like a granny name. So Florence, I think, is gorgeous and it's a gorgeous Italian city. The next name I have is Havana. Havana is the capital city of Cuba. And this name is one that I just want to say over and over again, Havana. I just feel like it has such a beautiful sound to it. It almost sounds like a modern kind of take on Hannah. Um, so even if you were trying to honor someone named Hannah, maybe this could work. Um, I just think it is gorgeous. The next name I have is Petra. Petra is an ancient city in Jordan. Um, Petra is a very, very cool kind of modern sounding name. I actually know a couple who just named their daughter Petra. I could see this name gaining popularity in the next few years. Then I have another Italian city name that is Valencia. I think if you just took a map of Italy and <laughs> looked at the names of the cities, you could come up with some really great girls names because they all have very romantic, very um, princessy names for their cities in Italy. The next name I have is Corsica. Corsica is the name of a French island in the Mediterranean Sea. I believe it was the birthplace of Napoleon, but don't quote me on that. Corsica has a very interesting sound. It has that core beginning that a lot of people like in names like Coral and Coralie and Coraline, so I think that might appeal to some people, but it is also kind of different sounding when you say the whole name together, Corsica. The next name I have is Vienna. Vienna is the capital city of Austria. This name always makes me think of the sound of music, which is a very positive association for me. Um, I think it is a gorgeous name and would make a very, very beautiful girl's name. The next name is one that I actually hadn't heard of either until I did the research for this video, and that is Arusha. Arusha is a city in Tanzania, but it doesn't sound like the name of a city to me. It sounds like a girl's name. And the last name I have on this list is one that I think would work for both boys or girls, but I put it on the girls list because it ends with an A, and that tends to be a more feminine ending for names, and that is Jakarta. Jakarta is the capital city of Indonesia, and the reason I think it could work for boys is that you could get the nickname Jack, but I kind of think the nickname Jack is cute for girls as well. 
Um, Jakarta just has a fun sound to it and I think it would make a really fun name. So those were just some place names that I thought were kind of cool, worth sharing. Um, some of them were a little bit more adventurous, but I thought they were fun anyways. So let me know in the comments below what place names you think would make great baby names. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.